All right, I'm in a part of Phoenix, which is right next to Old Town Scottsdale, which is probably one of the most researched neighborhoods in the entire Metro Phoenix area. We are in Arcadia. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you around. I'm gonna show you some homes at different price points to see what might work best for your budget. Talk a little bit about the area, show you one of the popular eateries right up here in front of me. And then uh, stick around till the very end because we'll do a recap, give you a market update of what's going on here in Arcadia. And with that being said, sit back and relax. And we're gonna get after it right now. All right, as if it's your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about Phoenix and the surrounding areas, such as great neighborhoods like Arcadia, then be sure to subscribe below. Tap that bell for notifications so you'll be the first to learn about the current market in Phoenix. Hi, my name is Rick, and the team and I, we get calls and emails from people just like you every day looking to move to Phoenix, and we absolutely love it. So where you're thinking about making a move next week, next month, or even a year from now, Reach out to us, you can give us a call, you can send us a text, shoot us an email, and we'd be more than happy to help you make a smooth move to Phoenix. All right, so I'm out here on the Grand Canal. Uh, it's one of our largest water sources here in the North Valley. This particular canal runs about 50 miles in length. It starts out in the East Valley out in Mesa and heads all the way out west. Uh, and it services a lot of the water sources here, especially in the Arcadia area because it runs right through Arcadia, but it provides a lot of flood irrigation for a lot of these homes. And I'll talk more about that on our tour and I'll show you a home and I'll explain how all that works. But what it does basically, it provides a lot of flood irrigation on a regular basis, gives you some nice ground cover of grass if you like that area, and it's a great benefit to our trees. It allows for deep soak, you get the big high canopies, and, uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a little bit. But it's a very, very popular, very popular place too. So that's the water source, but it also provides great place for people to entertain. You can see people riding their bikes. They'll come out here, walk, they'll bring their dogs. Uh, and it's open to the public, so anybody can use it. And it's a great thing too, if you want to take advantage of this, because it gets you off the surface streets. So it doesn't get as busy and as hectic. Uh, unfortunately, right now, this time of year, in the winter time, they're actually going through and uh, redoing it. They drain this on a regular basis. I think it's annually they drain it. And they'll come in, they'll clean it all up to get all the debris out of the canal. They'll do some of the repairs along the side. Uh, then they'll get this thing filled back up. But what's interesting for me is I actually grew up on this canal uh, on, in, on, in a home about three or four miles behind me here. And all the way through grade school and high school, our home backed right up to this canal. And this was my playground. I mean, I'd come out and I'd train uh, back in the day, you could, uh, you could have motorized vehicles. They don't allow it today, but I had a dirt bike and I'd come out here and I'd ride up and down the, uh, the canal and I'd run and jog and train and just, it was, it, was my, it was my playground. I just took advantage of it. And a lot of people do that today. So, but it's a very, like I said, it's a very popular area. What I wanna show you now is I wanna show you a couple of eateries that are right behind me here. Um, this particular one here is called Oso, very popular. Deal. You can see they got the they got the bike racks out here. So if you're out and about with your family or your friends, you just come out here. You park your bike right there. You go in. You grab something to eat. Very dog friendly. They got they got treats for dogs and little water stations. It's all set up. So a very popular place. If you live in this area for people to come down and take advantage of the canal and just ride your bike or walk down or whatever. Also is one of two distilleries that they have here in Scottsdale. Uh, they've got a number of different beers you can try. They've got great food, Americana food, burgers, sandwiches, salads, all the like. Great appetizers. Really have a lot to offer here and it's a lot of fun. Uh, you got another place next door here called Little O's. Uh, which is another little eatery. So you got two places right here along the canal bank. And there's several others along the way that you can take advantage of too. But another thing I wanted to point out is our iconic Camelback Mountain, which is here behind us. Uh, that's, you've probably heard of that on the south side, which is we're looking on the south facing right now. That's Phoenix on the north side of it is an area called Paradise Valley. 
Uh, you've got some multi-million dollar homes up on the hillside. They've got some amazing trails and places you can go up and hike. Uh, it's really a lot of fun up there. So anyways, a lot to do. But what I'm gonna tell you to do now is I'm gonna take you out and kind of show you the neighborhoods that we're talking about. And we'll go do that next. All right, so we're at our first stop. Uh, this particular home is a three bedroom, two bath. It's 1,200 square feet. It's priced at $674.9. This house has been completely renovated. Uh, it's actually not a bad price for this area called Arcadia Light. And these homes are, are still fairly expensive, but if you don't want to have to worry about fixing up a home and you just want a turnkey, this home is all done. Uh, they've done a great job on the inside with quartz counters, nice cabinetry. Uh, good features for this small home. Uh, it's all landscaped here in the front. They put all new landscaping in the front as well as in the back. But what makes this thing nice too is you can see they've added, they've added a one car garage. And homes back in those days, uh, that was not common. Everything was, was covered parking. And uh, I know when my dad built here back in the 50s, it just, they didn't do that. But this home was built in 1954. So they've come in and, and completely redone it. Got a double gate here. You got plenty of ample parking along the side here, which is great. Um, but it is, uh, it is really cute. They've done a nice job with it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you around and I'm going to show you more of the neighborhood, so you can get a feel for what the rest of the neighborhood looks like, and then we'll head over to our next stop. We can see the world through open eyes and savor time before it flies and every time you wake up there's a new day that's calling out your name come join the game well that's life take what comes along the way that's love let it grow stronger every day there's joy as the days go passing by there's hope a better life dreams and fly together we can try that's life well some things in this world were meant to be like living life in peace and harmony so follow where the road will lead you hand in hand we'll make our dreams come true enjoy the view All right, so we're here at our next stop. It's this home right over my shoulder. This home is a four bedroom, two bath. It's 1,953 square feet and it's priced at a million two. Now this house has been completely redone like the last home I showed you with the quartz counters, the upgraded kitchen, stainless steel appliances. Really, really nice appointments here. Uh, this is in a great area of Arcadia Light from where we just came from. We drove a little further north. But what's nice about this area here uh, it doesn't have a really big backyard, but you don't need it because across the street, literally, Caddy Corner is a park. And I've got some video of that you'll see, but uh, it's got a playground for kids, or you can just bring your dog over there, you can go throw a frisbee, a football, whatever it is that you want to do. But this home is very nice, and uh, this brings back a lot of fond memories for me because some of my best friends grew up in this area. I, I actually grew up about two miles from here and used to come down in this area of town all the time. And so this particular, it's on a little bit of a busy street here. Uh, this kind of takes the traffic east-west, mainly for, you know, the neighbors. But it can get a little busy, but it's not like one of the north-south streets that'll that get really busy. Uh, but this house is available, uh, and it's in a great area. And like I said, you got the park just across the street from you here. And so that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and take you around, show you some more of the neighborhood, and then we'll head over to our final stop. Let it grow stronger every day. There's joy as the days go passing by. And there's hope, a better life for you and I. We take our dreams and fly. Together we can try. That's life. Do 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 do
so we're here at our last stop. Uh, this home is 2,443 square feet. It's listed for a million six. It's a four bedroom, two bath home. Uh, as you can see here, it's got a side entry two car garage, which is nice. It sits on about a third acre lot. So the, prop the, the properties over in this area of Arcadia are on larger home sites, which is nice. Uh, you can see that the home is set back from the street a little bit. It still has some room in the backyard. It does have a pool. It's got a nice view of Camelback Mountain. Uh, but it does have some nice appointments in the home. Somebody buying this home might want to do some updating to it. But, uh, you know, at a, at a million six in this area is not too bad. But what I want to show you here is the amazing street that it has. Uh, if you can see behind me, you can see all these big mature trees. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the flood irrigation that they have here and, and why that is. But it's got a great street here. You see it this direction. You can see all the foliage behind it, but right now, you know, we're going into wintertime, so a number of these trees have lost the bulk of their leaves, so it looks a little thin, but, you know, you come back in the springtime when the weather starts warming up, and this is just a gorgeous street. I feel like you can take this street and plant it anywhere in the country, and you'd never know it was in Phoenix. <laughs> so it looks, it looks really nice. But uh, <clears throat> this is in an area called Arcadia proper. Uh, these are on, uh, on larger home sites. And what I want to show you, and I mentioned this earlier when I was talking about flood irrigation. Uh, if you can see right here on this berm area right here, there's a little berm that goes all the way around the front of the perimeter. And uh, you can have access to, to flood irrigation if you'd like. And what the purpose of the flood irrigation was is not only to give you a nice green grass area if you like that look, which a lot of people in this area do, but also it gives a deep soak for these trees. I mean, look at the size of these mature trees. So you, it'll flood at two or three inches, the water will soak down in the ground. And what that does, it, it gives a, creates a deep root system for these trees. They get massive in size, but really develop a big canopy. And the whole purpose behind that was, was to provide shade to the property and hopefully reduce some of your electric costs. But uh, as a result of that, that's why you get this kind of look down a street like this on these larger proper, uh, these larger home sites here in Arcadia uh, proper. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you some more of this neighborhood. Uh, this is just beautiful. And some of these larger home sites around this part of Arcadia. And then we'll go ahead and we'll wrap up this video. When you wake up, there's a new day that's calling out your name. Come join the game Well that's life Take what comes along the way That's love Let it grow stronger every day There's joy As the days go passing by There's hope A better life for you and I Take our dreams and fly Together we can try That's life Some things in this world were meant to be Like living life in peace and harmony So follow where the road will lead you Hand in hand we'll make our dreams come true Enjoy the view
right, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. I want to tell you a little bit more about Arcadia and the history behind it. See, back in the early 1900s, this was primarily a citrus orchard uh, for grapefruit trees, orange trees, large estate areas for the farmers. And as the city of Phoenix continued growing, and as the population started coming out this direction, uh, they decided to create a, an environment for the elite, for, for the wealthy. And so they started subdividing the property in larger parcels. And so the more affluent had, a, had an area where they could come and live, and that is what is known as Arcadia today. Now over the years, obviously they've gone in and replatted and, and even changed the size of the, the lots up over, more and more over time. But today, it, there's still a tremendous amount of citrus on these properties. Uh, it, and really the purpose behind it was just to create an amazing community. You know, lots of sprawling land, green grass areas as I showed you on that last house, big uh, overhanging developing canopy type trees, uh, and it's a real sense of community. And the great thing about Arcadia is there's no HOA. So what's happened over the years with all these older homes is a lot of developers and, uh, and builders have come in here. They bought up a lot of these properties. They've knocked these properties down, gone in and, and redeveloped them, rebuilt them. Uh, you've got, you know, you got the farmhouse look, the modern look. You've got all different types of exterior looks in these homes as well as in the interiors. There's really some beautiful, beautiful properties here throughout the Arcadia area. But the main part of Arcadia started as Arcadia proper, and that's the last home that I showed you. Uh, that was priced at a million six. Now, currently, the most expensive home in Arcadia is listed just under an eight million dollars, and it's got it's on a land about a million, or a million, about one and a half acres. So it's a fairly large, uh, large estate with land. Uh, it's about 8,300 square feet. So it's a monster house. So I mean, there's there's some high-end, very custom homes throughout Arcadia. So what I wanted to show you, I didn't want to take you to the high end. I wanted to kind of show you what you can get on some different price points. Might be a little bit more reasonable depending on what your budget is in uh, coming here. But what separates Arcadia from, from every place else, especially if you were to move up in the North Valley of Phoenix or into the North Scottsdale area, and I've done a, uh, a vlog tour of North Scottsdale, you get up closer to the mountain and it's much more desert scape. It's drier, it's a completely different look than what you see here. So. Depending on where you live today, if, you're in an, if you live in an area where there's a lot of green grass, a lot of trees, and you like that look, then Arcadia might be the right fit for you. Uh, it just depends on what your budget is, depending on where in Arcadia you might, uh, might want to live. You know, as we move further west, and those were the first two homes that I showed you in an area called Arcadia Light, uh, the lots are a little smaller, uh, but you still get the green grass in the front if you like that. You still have some nice trees. Uh, the development growth is, is going crazy in that, that part of Arcadia. It's still very popular. There are some homes in there uh, that you can get and fix up, believe it or not. So, it, you know, if that's something that might be of interest to you, maybe you're looking for an investment property, uh, you know, let us know. We can, we can help you in any way uh, that we can. You know, be sure and give us a thumbs up on this video if you find this information helpful. And be sure and subscribe to our channel. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell for notification. That way you'll, you can stay up, up to date on the current market in the Phoenix area. But uh, Arcadia, it's, it's still holding its own. You know, we're going into 2023. Uh, it's gonna be an interesting year here in the Metro Phoenix area in this market. Obviously interest rates have gone up. Uh, prices are starting to correct a little bit. Uh, each of these, these homes that I showed you, uh, they've actually had some price adjustments. Uh, they've been on the market for anywhere from 30 to almost 60 to 90 days. Uh, on average, they've come down about 50000 uh, at the price that I talked about uh, in each location. So uh, it's, it's interesting. I mean, Arcadia is a very strong market. It'll, always, it'll continue to be a, a strong market because it just offers so much. I mean, you've got major shopping uh, with, with the Scottsdale Fashion Square, which is right there in, in Old Town Scottsdale, South Scottsdale major uh, restaurants around that whole Arcadia area. There's probably 150, 200 restaurants uh, close by. Uh, you go to the other side, there's the Biltmore Fashion Park, which is near 24th Street and Camelback. Uh, so you've got a lot of options for you in and around the Arcadia area. And another nice thing too, I mean, if, if you happen to fly in and out a lot, or maybe your, your work takes you and you gotta go to the airport, Sky Harbor International Airport is literally 10 to 15 minutes away. Uh, so you got a short commute to the airport if you need to get there. 
Uh, there's great schools here in Scottsdale. Uh, you got uh, you got Hopi Elementary, you got Tavon, you got Ingleside Middle School. It feeds in Arcadia High School. So you've got, you know, you got some really good, good high-scoring schools here in Scottsdale. Even though it's the city of Phoenix, it's Scottsdale Unified School District, which is nice. But uh, it's a real sense of community. You know, I was out and about, and I, I met a lot of people out here. I mean, you'll see people out riding their bikes, uh, you know, on the canal that that I, I showed you. People go out for walks, jogs. People pushing strollers. Dogs everywhere. Uh, I mean, you'll even see, interesting enough, you'll even see people driving little golf carts in and around the neighborhoods of Arcadia. They might take them to, you know, take the golf cart, go pick up their kids at school, because everything's really close by, and it's a very close-knit community. So if that's something that's of interest to you, uh, and you want to be in, like I said, this is one of the most popular neighborhoods in the entire Metro Phoenix area. People know about Arcadia. Uh, it's heavily searched on the internet. And uh, a lot of people want to want to live here. So, you know, depending on your budget, how we might be able to help you. Uh, we've got a, we've got an amazing mortgage team that uh, that we can get together with you on, and, and they can kind of see where things are for you. But, anyways, I just uh, I hope you found this video helpful. Like I said, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, if there's anything else that we can do to to help you, you know, just be sure you know give us a call. You can even send us a text. You can email us. If you'd like to set up, set yourself up on a Zoom call. We'd be more than happy to do that for you, too. But uh, until next time, thanks again for watching, and we hope to show you around town. Take care.